and welcome back to National Volcano News Report, or NVNR. My name is Ryan Dargar, and today we are going to be taking a look at something that is possibly extremely dangerous to our state. The previously speculated extinct volcano of Black Mountain has just been raised to a high alert state, most likely because of the earthquake activity of last month. Will this cause a major disaster? To find out, let's take it over to our own earthquake specialist, Ms. Rayana Dargar. Thanks, Ryan. It's a pleasure to be back on the show. So, the Black Mountain problem. Black Mountain has recently been reported to have erupted a first stage of volcanic gases, along with rocks. A, re a release of carbon monoxide has been shot into the atmosphere, lowering the temperature around here while stopping the sun. I believe that our man, Ryan Dargar, is in a helicopter around the scene. Why don't we take it over to him with the most recent news of the eruption? Thanks, Ryana. As you can see, the Black Mountain Volcano, speculated to be extinct, has woken up, possibly from the unfortunate events of the earthquake from last month. The volcano is in the later stages and has already started to ooze lava out of it, similar to the flows of Hawaii. Let's take it back to Miss Ryana with facts about volcanoes. Thanks, Ryana. Volcanoes are made when hot magma finds its way to the surface. This usually happens along tectonic plate boundaries. A great example of this is the Ring of Fire along the Pacific Plate. This is a place where lots of volcanic activity happens. However, if you notice, there is a spot in the middle, far from any plate boundaries. These are the Hawaiian Islands. The Hawaiian Islands are what are called hotspots. On hotspots, magma plumes under the crust to build up energy and sputter like smoke out of a chimney. This builds and breaks under the Earth's surface, making magma flow up in different places as the plates move. Let's move it back to Ryan at the studio, who has information on the different types of volcanoes. When talking about volcanoes, there are three different types. First up, we have the stratovolcanoes, or the composite volcanoes. These volcanoes have a conduit system of vents, with lava breaking through walls or issuing from fissures on the sides of the mountain. With all this material coming out, they can grow thousands of meters tall. As we've seen with the famous Mount St. Helens, composite volcanoes can explode violently. An example of a composite volcano is Eyjafjallajökull. Cool? No, no, sorry. Eyjafjallajökull. Cool. It's Eyjafjallajökull. Yes, that which stopped flights in Europe for six weeks. Next, we have the cinder cone. These are the simplest types of volcano. They occur when particles and blocks of lava are ejected from a volcanic vent. The lava is blown violently into the air, with, and the pieces rain down around the vent. Finally, we have the shield volcano. These are large, broad volcanoes that look like shields from above, hence the name. The lava that pours out of shield volcanoes is thin, so it can travel for great distances down the shallow slopes of the volcano. These volcanoes build up slowly over time, with hundreds of eruptions, creating many layers. They're not likely to explode catastrophically. Well, that concludes our report on volcanoes. Give thanks to our volcano specialist, Rayana Daragara, our reporter, Ryan Daragara, and our journalist, Ryan Daragara. Stay safe, know your volcanoes. My name is Ron Darugar, signing out.